It's the time of year where you're going to start seeing videos of Get Started in Blank 2026 from YouTube content creators. You're going to see my video here coming out in a few weeks. So as we close 2025, I thought about some insights, some anecdotes, and just to share kind of a few words of for those who are trying to get into cybersecurity in 2026 or who are in cybersecurity and just kind of looking to perhaps maintain or level up their career. Um, you know, this is more of an informal rambling. I'm just kind of compiling some of my thoughts as I go into 2026, some of the skills I want to focus on and kind of where I want to take my career. To start out is this idea of focusing on problem spaces. So in cybersecurity, there is a lot of roadmaps. There's a lot of courses, certifications. You will probably know that if you've kind of navigated the learning space. Now, in my opinion, it's important to not just focus on tools or certifications, but really think about problem spaces. So there are a lot of problem spaces in security, lots of domains. And when it comes to these big problem spaces, what I like to do is just think about one particular area you're perhaps interested in and you want to explore. And typically these take for me about two to three months to really deep dive into. I take a lot of notes. I do a lot of Google searching courses, YouTube, and just try to understand just the entire scope of the space. And then start to think about areas that perhaps you can add value, whether that is building out maybe a tool or perhaps it is maybe a new approach to solving the problems. Um, this is something that I've been really trying to work on the last couple of years, rather than just focusing my time on just one tool. So speaking of journey and tools, for those of you who are searching, you know, perhaps you're looking to get into security in 2026, you're breaking the barrier or, you know, you're maybe in security wanting to level up, um, but you're feeling lost or unsure how to get there. Know that it's completely normal. I feel that all the time. Um, you know, everyone has to get started somewhere in security and, and everyone, myself included, is going to be giving you some sort of random advice. What I like to do is just kind of apply advice to my personal situation. So for those particularly who are searching or who are having a hard time, you know, I kind of continuing to relay the advice that I've received and, and also, you know, giving to other people, you know, whether that's trying to find a job or internship. And that's really just kind of focus on building your career based off of a portfolio of stuff. <laughs> what I mean by that is, instead of just saying, you know, I've taken 10 different courses, or I've completed this many rooms, um, really what companies care about is, you know, kind of who you are as an individual and what you've actually done. You know, do you really have any practical experience? You know, can you show personal projects or uh, kind of think through a process or scenarios? Building a portfolio, uh, which is a curated collection of, say, projects, maybe a few certifications, a website, um, this, these are opportunities for you to stand out among the crowd. Get creative. You know, when it comes to building this portfolio, think about GitHub or blog posts or even, you know, maybe creating some videos along the way. Um, but remember that, you know, learning is very important and that structured learning is important, but also showing your thought process and how you're approaching these problems is important. Kind of showcases you're taking that next level. So for myself, I'm going to continue to focus on my own curation of projects, my own portfolio. And helping share my journey with others through Project Security, which I'll kind of talk about here in a few weeks. Now, speaking of time and journey, measurable time, chunks of time. All right, I, it's a terrible, God, that is awful. This past year and this year coming forward, one of the kind of primary things that I'm focusing on when it comes to my personal learning and journey is through measuring my learning through measurable chunks of time. Um, you know, typically, sometimes we can get lost in uh, either not having enough momentum or perhaps we're binging through a whole bunch of really good videos, but, um, you know, we're maybe not retaining that information. So, you know, for this year specifically, I'm going to continue to focus on building out measurable chunks of time, whether that's reading the security news, listening to podcasts. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that's in insanely intense, but really just focusing on personal learning, you know, 30 minutes to an hour a day. Um, rather than, you know, trying to cram in learning or, you know, uh, uh, not learning at all. Navigating through the hype, whether that is a security buzzwords, AI, or perhaps it is influencers, there's a lot of hype on YouTube and in the industry in general. Um, so when it comes to navigating through the hype, one of the things that I always like to say is stay grounded in the fundamentals, know the realistic expectations when it comes to the industry kind of what you're encountering and what you're facing and focus on problem spaces. But really, in all seriousness, 
you know, navigating through the certifications, roadmaps, buzzwords, it's, it's, it's important to kind of know where the reality f- fits and where the drifting kind of starts to come in. And finally, when it comes to developing your skill set, keep experimenting, keep playing around in your home lab, uh, in the sandbox, and don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone, you know, whether that is touching a technology or tool or maybe a space that you have never explored, you know, reaching out to maybe industry veterans or security researchers, participating in conferences. There's a lot of opportunity within the InfoSec industry, um, you know, and I think you'll have a lot more success if you're willing to embrace the unknown and perhaps just maybe go outside your comfort zone every now and then. Um, and that's, once again, kind of something I'm trying to focus on myself for 2026. So I'm looking forward to 2026 to continue, you know, to build and grow our careers here, uh, you know, in spite of kind of a turbulent job market and a lot of maybe bubbles and hype in the AI and cybersecurity space. You know, cybersecurity in general still provides a lot of unique opportunities to either learn, grow, build. um, And, you know, from that perspective, you can really have a successful career. So was this video helpful? Probably not. Rambling of ramblings. I hope all is well for concluding your year in 2025. 2026, um, yep, it's happening. Hopefully some things change. In all seriousness, I wishing you well to conclude your new year, and uh, I will, you know what it is. See you in the next video.